Emmanuel Macron has been beating the drum for France as a new, modernized, startup nation on the world stage, while he pushes ahead with a wide-ranging program of reforms at home. And the EU's poster boy has also used Britain's decision to leave the bloc to pitch France as an investment destination at the heart of the European single market. The French president told India today, your historical partner in Europe was the UK, and I want France to become the new partner, I want France to become the reference partner of the 21st century, I think India has to operate much more with Europe and the European Union as a whole. I want France to be its entry point. Emmanuel Macron, the 40-year-old president, is traveling with a delegation of French companies, including EDF, Dassault Aviation, Schneider Electric and Suez. Mr. Macron said, I think India has to operate much more with Europe and the European Union as a whole. I want France to be its entry point, I want your creativity, your entrepreneurship, your young people to be much more present in France, much more known and recognized. And I want to see the same from the French side, AFP. Getty Emmanuel Macron has made a swoop for Indian business. India was the third largest source of foreign direct investment into Britain in 2015, contributing to its position as Europe's top destination for foreign direct investment, according to official British figures. By comparison, India was only the 30th largest investor in France, according to 2013 Bank of France figures. Mr. Macron's comments are the latest in a series of Choose France speeches. Macron threat France unveils Brexit bank snatch to make Paris Europe's financial centre Friday, January 19, 2018 Theresa May and Emmanuel Macron attend a press conference at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst last month Mr. Macron's Minister of Economy and Finance Bruno Le Maire revealed France plans to lure global banks from the City of London to Paris after Brexit to make the French capital the largest financial centre in Europe. Mr. Le Maire said, Mr. Macron's sites are on JP Morgan, Bank of America and Goldman Sachs, which all have offices in London. Paris is planning to push forward wider plans to lure London-based bankers from the UK capital to Paris after Brexit by offering language lessons to finance sector workers and the families. Up to 75,000 bankers are expected to relocate in the long term and Mr. Macron's government has rubbed stamped the proposal to offer French lessons in London to bankers and the families to help them prepare for a new life outside.